What's up? This is take two of the video because I totally bombed the last one. <laughs> um, so here it goes. Uh, part two. Sorry I'm late. Uh, I had to record four videos for, uh, that's right, four. It looks like that sideways. Um, four videos for uh, our epic food time, angry epic food times. We got Halloween recipes up there, anything from shots to mac and cheese to mummies to e punch. Um, so check it out by all means. Um, but the things that I, I remembered, I, I forgot uh, on the last video of part one with the lore, the classes, and the races um, was in the lure, there are no final bosses. That's right. They are concentrating more along the lines of the Horde versus Alliance war. Um, uh, cool. Honestly, it's long time coming. Um, but, uh, the way they're going to try and pull this off is throwing in PVP aspects of the PVE into the PVE world. Now, I'm not sure how a lot of people are going to take this. I guess it really depends on maybe how well you enjoyed, like, the, um, trial of the champions uh what was it the faction champs the third round or second round third round third round of uh, of those fights how that was kind of a pvp style battle they may be doing that a little more often um in this newest expansion since there is no final boss it's all concentrated on that war now uh the second thing is the uh female pander and models they actually don't exist right now they're not finished that's why all you've seen are the male ones. So people are like, oh, these pandas asexual? No, they're not. They're just, the females aren't done yet. So moving on. Now, the three things I wanted to cover today are the new dungeon challenge mode, the talent trees, and the uh, one year subscription. Um, not in that order. I'm going to go ahead and start real quick with uh, one random thing from the, uh, from the pandar and things before I move on to those three. Was there is this. Uh, there is this uh, post release. I'm switching screens here, so it might look kind of strange because I'm trying to scroll down through. I'm a champion real quick because I found this thing that looked funny today. Okay, when you reach level 10 on a pander and you get this thing, this notice says, "Do you want to join the alliance or do you want to join the horde?" Here's the reasons for the alliance. Here's the reasons for the horde. While you should join us, and uh, as you can see, supporter of the horde. Hell yes. Um, the alliance though. Choose the alliance and you will be blessed with many bake uh, bake sales. Thanks guys. Um, as a growing pander and you will be fighting alongside the shortest races of Azeroth. Sweet, I can feel like a giant. Um, if you like baking cupcakes and exchanging recipes along with long walks on the beach, you should become a member of the alliance. And then at the bottom it says, we'll keep trying. It's, it's like, okay, I guess you won't take no for an answer. Um, but, uh, random. Um, and then for the horde. Choose to join the horde and you will be blessed with many companions uglier than you are. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Torns, undead, uh, orcs, and goblins, maybe. Um, but that doesn't mean they're cooler. Uh, the horde definitely has cooler models. <laughs> um, anyways, as a, as a growing pandering, you will be fighting alongside other races that also struggle passing through doorways, like Torrens. Do you guys remember back in the day when Kara was out and you could go to the back where there's this little crevice in the castle where you could actually fall through underground and there's this big-ass smiley face underground? Oh, wait, if you were torn, no, you don't. They were the only class that couldn't actually fit through there. Even with Nogginfogger, the model, I guess, didn't actually shrink. It still kept the big, large model, so you couldn't get under the, the actual castle. Um, if you haven't, too bad. You can't go check it out anymore. You might as well look on YouTube, because that does exist on there, but they fixed it, so you can't do that anymore. I don't, I don't know why they fixed it. It was an obvious thing by Blizzard saying, ha, you can do this, because we put a monster smiley face on the ground. Um, anyways, last one for the Horde. If you like smack talk, raging in the Baron's chat, and yelling catchy slogans and should become a member of the Horde, and they should have added nothing but Chuck Norris jokes, but they didn't, um, look tar is what they finish with. Uh, so those are your reasons for joining Alliance or Horde. As you can tell, Blizzard still has their sense of humor. Okay, moving on. We're gonna go on to the Dungeon Finder, which is over here on page two, as I'm gonna scroll down and click that. Um, sorry, I could have taken notes, but it's it's easier just if I pull this up like right here. And so the new dungeon challenge thing, I actually probably don't even need this. I don't even know why I did that. New dungeon challenge is essentially they rate you on your performance of clearing a dungeon. Now the catch is even if you are fully geared and the new Miss of Pandaria raid gear doesn't matter. They drop you down to an actual item level equivalent to everybody else that is running it so that there is no advantages whatsoever to your gear or anything like that. It honestly depends strictly on your skill and how well you perform with your group. Now if you do this um, and you actually clear the dungeon the fastest you get rewarded. Now they do have gold, silver, and bronze. I'm not sure what the rewards are for those but if you clear it the fastest they have said that you will get a new shiny item 
strictly for transmodification. There's actually no extra stats or anything along like that. It's just a big shiny model, and you can equip that bitch uh, through transmodification and be like, that's right, my group cleared it. What now? Bragging rights, more or less. Um, cool, but it probably will get old really fast, and I just want to clear the dungeons as fast as humanly possible and get my valor points. Um, so, whatever. That's, yeah, moving on. Talent trees. Okay, the talent trees, this system is, is I don't know, um, stupid, maybe? I don't know. It, it could work, but... I doubt it. They, they've said that they're going to try and have things more specific, like actually just give bi abilities straight off the bat without even talent trees to people who could use them. Like uh, Rhett Paladin and Prot Paladins both get uh, the Hammer of uh, right, uh, yeah, Hammer of Righteousness, the AOE that only Prot Paladins have right now. I believe that's what they said, and then I was like, wait, what? Whatever. I guess Rhett Paladins will get another AOE. Cool beans for them. Um, but. As, a, as an example, here's what they have for level 15 talents for paladins. Not just ret paladins, holy paladins, or anything like that. It looks like it's just straight up paladins. They've removed the talent trees completely, and you just have three choices every single time you hit a, a, an actual talent spot. You got speed of light, increases the movement speed of uh, by 60% for 6 seconds during the time you radiate healing to nearby enemies. So pretty much, uh, I guess, when you kick your... Uh, um, let's say AoE heal. I can't remember. The AoE heal that you have, you, you get an extra 60% movement speed. Or, a successful judgment increases your movement speed by 45 seconds, or by 45% for 4 seconds, okay? Another speed thing. Um, Pursuit of Justice, you gain 10% movement speed for each current charge of Holy Power. And it's just like, okay, all of these are speed. I guess it's just which one will I be using most for my class. Um, they kind of did the same thing with, like, Frost Mages, where, or with, with mages, well, not even frost mages. They did the same thing with mages that was just kind of like stupid. Like, uh, the entire thing was, uh, you got, okay, for level 15, you get Ring of Frost. Summons a ring, you all know Ring of Frost, screw that. Cone of Cold, it, it's essentially the same frost talent, uh, 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 the same thing under the frost tree that freezes the, your target for, for three seconds. Okay, Frost Straw, silences the enemy of the target and plays for eight seconds, lasting... Half as long versus a player targets. Okay, all of these are virtually PvP talents. Why did you give us nothing but PvP talents for... Hey, yeah, my, my phone's going off. Why did you give nothing but PvP talents from the start? That's stupid. Okay, w what is that going to do for any person that's raiding? I mean, this is for all mages, not just not just Frost. This is for Fire and Arcane as well. Like, for instance, level 30, you get Carterized, Cold Snap, and Greater Invisibility. It's just like, okay... What are you guys doing here? You're removing all of the fun from actually choosing a specific type of mage. So, I don't know. I, I, I think it's retarded, honestly, but let them, let, them, let them do what they want. Maybe it'll turn out better. Now, keep in mind, they said the talent trees are not finalized. They, they will be tweaking them and all that sort of stuff. So, maybe they'll perhaps let us choose whether we want to be PvP or PvE um, instead of just giving us a whole line of PvP stuff. Um, whatever. Moving on to <clears throat> the last part is the subscription. Now, the subscription is a great idea. Now, a lot of you guys are sitting here like, Miss a Pandora, dude, uh, expansion's gonna suck. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play a year from now. Alright, didn't you say the same thing, like, you know, after Lich King came out, or Burning Crusade came out, and you played it for a year, and the, and the next one wasn't gonna come out for a while? Dude, I'm not gonna be playing it a while, a year from now, and here you are! Three years later! Nice work! Um, you're gonna play. It. You're always gonna. It's it's because this game, for some ungodly reason, never gets old, or at least it does for a little while, and then you go, oh hey, I haven't played well in a while. I'm back. Uh, so you might as well just do it. Um, the annual pass is a great idea, simply because well, it's cheaper. I believe um, they don't really have a price up here in front of me. It's just it's an advertisement. It says sign up for World of Warcraft annual pass and you get Diablo three for free. That's right, straight up. For free. That's a $50, probably $60 value, something like that. And then you also get Tyriel's Charger, an exclusive WoW mount. Um, on top of that, guaranteed beta entry for uh, Miss of Pandaria. Yeah. They're, essentially, it's just like, sign up for a year, and here's free shit. Um, okay. Why not? Um, so, yeah, that's that's the other thing. If you guys haven't heard about that or anything like that, I recommend you do it. Because I can tell you right now, a year from now, you guys will still be playing. Um... And if not, I believe you still have to sign up for what Star. You might have to sign up for StarCraft or even Diablo anyway. So the hell with it. Go ahead and do it. You'll still be using your uh, your actual 
pass for a while. Or no, actually, I guess you don't. Anyways, just buy it because you're going to be playing a year from now. That's pretty much all I'm covering today. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, the day after. I don't know. It depends on how tired I am or how much sleep I'm going to get. Um, over these next whatnots, or even if I'm having busy just doing other shit. And I will be covering, though, when I come back, Diablo 3. So um, stay tuned, uh, and I will fill you in on all the majors of here and there of Diablo 3, even though I'm going to give you a little hint right now. Diablo 3 sucks. Yes, um, <laughs> I will still give you a legitimate uh, review on on Diablo 3, the ups and downs and all that sort of stuff, it, Most all the positives. Even though I think it looks like crap compared to Diablo 2. Whatever. Um, I expected more from Blizzard for waiting this long. It's kind of like StarCraft. I expected way more from StarCraft. I expected that to be absolutely legendary. When in fact, it was just simply good. That's kind of how I feel about Diablo. It's not saying StarCraft is bad. Actually, I probably shouldn't have said Diablo 3 sucks. Because Diablo 3 probably doesn't suck. It's just not as good as I had hoped. Um, so... Whatever. It's 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 the same thing with StarCraft. Any real StarCraft players out there expected way more when that launched. Sure, it's great, it's cool, whatnot. But the graphics are not nearly what they are supposed to be. The gameplay is is a minor upgrade. I expected a major upgrade. Um, the campaign actually good. I'll give you guys that. Um, the campaign was pretty sweet. So, but still, I expected more. Um, same thing as with Diablo, but I'll give you the full rundown and you guys can uh, decide whether you're going to play it or not. I'm probably still going to play it regardless. Um, so peace out. I'll catch you guys later.